Hey everyone, so finally, after two years, I can finally say I have worked on the movie Fatherhood for one day, starting Kevin Hart. Yes, two years ago in June 2019, I have worked for one day on the production Fatherhood. So basically, this movie was supposed to be released in theaters by Sony and Columbia Pictures, I think. Not even because of the pandemic, the movie was supposed to be released in theaters on June 2020. And before the pandemic was even talked about in North America, the movie got delayed to January 2021. And when the pandemic started, I think they delayed it again until April 2021. Maybe I'm wrong, but I remember seeing those dates specifically and now because of a license deal that Kevin Hart has with Netflix, the movie released in June 2021 this year on Netflix. So it's similar to Adam Sandler's license deal when he signed it with Netflix. Uh, every production that Adam Sandler was in had to be released on Netflix. And the reason why Uncut Gems was on Netflix is because he filmed it before he signed the deal and the movie was released in theaters in the United States. But because of the license deal that he just signed, he had to put it on Netflix. So it was considered a Netflix original, even if it wasn't. And it was available on Netflix everywhere except the United States. But with fatherhood and the pandemic and the license deal that Kevin Hart signed, they decided, oh, fatherhood was filmed two years ago. It's ready to be shown in theaters or on a streaming platform. So why not just with the license deal put fatherhood on Netflix? And I watched the movie and I have to say, I was impressed of how much I liked that movie. I, I knew it wasn't, I knew it was going to be good, but not that good. Like I really enjoyed it. The casting was great. I uh, didn't watch all of Kevin Hart's movie, but that was one of his best performances that I saw. It's a dramatic movie, sad, depressing, but with a little comedy. But I have to say, I really enjoyed it, like I said. But the ending is such a cheesy comedy, romantic comedy ending. Like, it ends well, but you don't know some of the details in the characters' lives. So, a little spoiler, we don't know at the end if Kevin Hart quit his job or only left for what happened in the end. You, we don't know if he still has his job or if he quit or he was fired after that. We have no idea about it, but the ending was heartwarming and great. Besides that, uh, questions not being really answered, I have to give this movie a 9 out of 10. Really, I recommend you all to watch Fatherhood if you have a Netflix account. So I've only worked for one day on this production and I have to say, I wasn't even supposed to be there. So what do I mean by this is when it was announced that they were going to shoot in Montreal or uh, via my union, I sent emails to the production, you know, to work there. Like, I'm really interested to work there. I'm looking for a job, I wanna work, and I'm super interested to be there, and I'm available at all times. So, I got some responses back, and it wasn't really that serious of a response. So, I was just telling myself at the end, oh, it's not gonna happen, I'm not gonna be there whatsoever. I'm just gonna enjoy my summer and work on other projects, so. I'm relaxing in my backyard, but a few times I'm in my backyard, laying down, listening to music, and just relaxing. I get a phone call, and it's someone from the production telling me, oh, are you available last minute for tomorrow morning? And I'm like, yeah. And they're like, okay, so uh, we're hiring you for the day, 
and uh, you need to come at a specific hour, you can't be late. You can't come late, not even five minutes late, or even five minutes in advance. You need to arrive at the specific time we give you. And I was just like, geez, calm down. Like, I, it's not the first time I'm working on a production, but I've only been working on productions for a year at that time, so... I, I, I knew what I was doing, but I wasn't much experienced back then. But everyone out there thought it was my first day ever and they were surprised when I said, oh, I've worked on Long Shot, I've worked on uh, The Bold Type, I've worked on Murder Mystery and Blood and Treasure. Like they were shocked. Like they all thought that was my first day ever. Of course, I was only hired to do blocking, but you know, at the end of the day, I help with wrapping, prepping stuff. And I was blocking a street for cars and pedestrians. And we were filming like at the school in the movie. Like I think we shot almost every scene from the movie at the school that day. But I think all of the scenes that were filmed in front of the school were filmed that day. So I'm blocking near the set that was the school. And they really didn't want me to be near the set or near the actors. Like, I get it. I've only been there for a year. But come on, I've been on sets. I've worked with... A-list celebrities like I'm not like a stalker or fan that's sneaking in But anyways, I'm just doing my job, you know trying not to get fired so I'm at my spot blocking the street and two black SUVs Come towards me and they park in front of me and I'm like hmm black SUVs with tinted windows I wonder who that could be and guess what Kevin Hart and his family or entourage come out of the SUV there's a camera guy with Kevin Hart filming everything like if it was a documentary but I remember the camera was being pointed towards me because Kevin Hart was walking uh, in front of me going to the set and he's a really nice guy saying hello to everyone and like Adam Sandler, nothing but good things to say about Kevin Hart while I was working on a project with them. And I don't know why, but my one of the person that tells me what to do uh, got upset. In my opinion, I don't know that coincidentally Kevin Hart walked in front of me. Like right after he parked in front of me and walked past me, like not even acknowledging me much, um, but was still polite and nice to the crew around. They were like, Sean, you need to go further. You need to go further from the, the set. And I didn't do anything. I didn't wave to him. I didn't talk to him. I didn't really look at him that much. I just knew he was there. So I'm like, okay, they're freaking out for some reason, but I'm gonna respect that and I'm gonna do what I'm being told. So for like a few hours, I'm really far away from the set. And now we move locations, even though it's at the same place. Like we were filming around the school the entire day. So there's one part of the day I am positioned like near a water fountain or the, a water machine and I'm thirsty and I have my water bottle. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go fill my water bottle. It's not even a 10, 15 seconds walk. It's right next to me. Like it's near me. Like no problem at all. Not having to ask for permission to go fill up my water bottle. Like it's near me. They know it's near me. It's not going to cause any issues. So. I go to fill up my water bottle and guess what? Kevin Hart stand, comes next to me, just next to me, doesn't look at me again, doesn't talk to me, we don't even look at each other, I know he's there. So nothing crazy happens. 
It's just a normal event going on. Like I'm filling up my water bottle and he's just next to me, not doing anything. And guess what? Sean, what are you doing there? You need to go further and further and further. I, my position was near the water machine. And just because he was next to me, they changed my position to go far away from the set. Like, why? I didn't do anything wrong. So, I'm still like responding to the orders and calls. So, I'm just doing my job. And you know, I felt in my opinion that was a productive day for me. Yes, the majority of the time I was only blocking, but I was helping with wrapping, prepping stuff. Like I had a productive day. And when we ended it, um, I'm wrapping stuff in the school to put in the truck. And while I'm in the school walking around trying to find stuff that's ours, Kevin Hart and his crew walk in front of me and again they don't talk to me they don't look at me they don't acknowledge me they're just trying to leave the set they're just trying to leave and i just see one of my superiors looking where kevin art is and i'm in front of him and he's like freaking out like why are you freaking out man like i'm not doing anything so he's just in front of me trying to look for the exit and leaves. Like that's it. And the disappointing part is I was really going along with the crew. I was talking with everyone. It was really a productive and fun day. And I asked if I would be back and they said, no, we only needed a few people at last minute. But for the rest of the schedule, we don't need anyone else. But thank you for the day. So I'm like, it is what it is. That's how the industry works. And I got paid. Also, a comment that I have to make. Kevin Hart, like, did cool things for the community in Montreal. Despite all the media attention and paparazzis near the set, um, he, I think him and his kids like paid ice cream for kids in the neighborhood where they were when we shot. There was also a Make-A-Wish kid that came to the set while I wasn't there because I have to say I still received all of the emails from the productions and they sent me the group picture of the rap even though I've worked for a day. Anyways. But uh, yeah, he did a lot of great things for the kids in the community, the Make-A-Wish Foundation, and also he brought a big bowl of wings on set. And that was pretty nice of him to do. And uh, yeah, I have nothing negative to say about Kevin Hart. Again, I didn't have any interactions with him. I was just next to him and shit happened. But uh, yeah, I had a great experience working on that production, even though it was for a day. And I'm surprised I didn't even know they worked at Boston or filmed in Boston. Also, another thing I would like to mention, a Montreal blog tried to sneak into the set so many times, which I find super disrespectful to the crew and to the people dedicating their time and effort and work into making this movie possible. I saw a video of a stupid purse, a stupid woman, you know, um, filming herself trying to sneak into the production and she was immediately stopped. But I just want to call out Montreal Blog, like please, for the love of God, leave productions and movie sets alone stop bothering them stop like sending paparazzi like when i worked on murder mystery the paparazzis there were intense they they doxed the address we were working and filming with murder mystery and fatherhood at some point that was after my day i worked there it was all over social media they doxed the address of where the production was at like 
they literally posted the exact address of the locations murder mystery and fatherhood would were filming at and i just want to say it's super disrespectful to everyone working on productions and uh, i know they're not going to stop they don't care they're only thinking about themselves and i please if you see montreal blog or any other uh, media company leaking or doxing an address of a production please don't come harass us please don't come take pictures please don't come to bother us we're working we're getting paid to do this and we want to do well with the production and not have any issues with some pedestrians and paparazzis coming to bother and harass us so please like i said again if you see any address leaked or doxed from someone of a production working outside in Montreal or any air, anywhere in the world. If you see someone doxing the address of a production company uh, workplace, don't go there and harass people and take pictures. It's super disrespectful. So now I'm going to end this video. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like comment, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can follow me on my social medias that will be in the description down below. And you can turn on the bell for notifications when I post. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.